Welcome back to Gamer Sanctuary, Fresh Coast fans. Just wanted to get a quick shot of uh, the weather outside. This is something we've had to deal with all winter long. Um, this rolled in in the last hour and a half or so uh, since I left work, and it's not looking like it's going to stop. Yet again, here we are towards the, the middle of February. Nothing but snow. But as you can see, nice and well lit inside. Lens is a little foggy from the steam. Had the camera on the car. Sorry about that. But um, Larry and I are going to get a, in a bat wrap tonight with his brand new freshly painted uh, Demon's Army. Um, it's a pretty standard uh, flying circus list. It's got uh, uh, the, the Screamer Star and everything, so we'll see how well I can uh, fare against it. All right, because I got robbed out of playing my Star Phantoms this last week, um, I kept them in the car, uh, so I'm gonna get them out today. Chapter Master Oz car is here with his normal loadout, Burning Blade, um, Storm Shield, Auspex. Uh, having decided if he's going to be with the Stern Guard there or the five Assault Terminators, I have two Lightning Claws, three Thunder Hammers. The Terminators are riding in the Land Raider Redeemer with Multi Malta. Uh, as far as troops, I've got five Scouts with Bolters, uh, a ten man Scout Squad with Camo Cloaks, eight Sniper Rifles, Heavy Bolter with Hellfire Shells, and Sergeant with Sniper Rifle. It is not Telliam, it's just a regular Scout Sergeant. Um, all Sergeants are veteran upgraded. Uh, I have a 10-man tactical squad and a drop pod, Power Fist, Combi Flamer, Flamer, uh, and Heavy Bolter. Uh, five Stern Garb with a Combi Plasma in a drop pod as well, Power Fist on the, the Sergeant there. Contemptor Dreadnought with uh, two Carries Auto Cannons, Cyclone Launcher, uh, Thunderfire Cannon, Stalker with its uh, Icarus Pattern last can or, uh, Auto Cannons, excuse me. And then for some aerial support, we have a Storm Talon with uh, Skyhammer Missiles. It's 1850 points. All right, here's Larry's 1850 point uh, demon list. Um, no Screamer Star. He surprised me here. He's uh, he has half a dozen of them, but he's trying to add more, so he doesn't want to use the, the uh, use the, them again until he has the full squad. Um, we actually have Chaos Demons and a Chaos Space Marine detachment. Um, Fate Weaver is leading the demons. There are three demon princes. This one has the grimoire, uh, and there's assorted demonic war gear scattered throughout. All three of the demon princes are level two psychers. Uh, and then there's two squads of ten pink horrors for troops for the demons. As far as the Chaos Marines, they are being led by Bellacor. So, of course, oop, he's facing the wrong way, though. Um, he, he brings all his telepathy shenanigans to the game. And uh, to, to satisfy the minimum troop requirements for the Chaos Space Marines, there's some cultists there. So it's a very, very small motto count army, but uh, they are nasty. All right, I had to switch uh, to using my phone because my... Uh, HD camera decided to quit on me. Um, here's a shot of deployment. We've got all Larry's Flying Circus lined up behind this uh, this ruined building right here, along with Fate Weaver and uh, Bellacor up there in the front. Uh, my guys are, I have them, my scouts in that building right there, Contemptors over here, Terminators and the Chapter Master in the Land Raider, the uh, Stalker and the uh, Thunderfire Cannon back here. I did fortify the ruins that the scouts are in. so. They, uh, they're going to get a much better cover save. Um, the game is Crusade, so we have four objectives. There's one here that the scouts are going to hold. There are two here. <laughs> there are, I'm sorry, there's one here over in front of the Demon Princess. And then one in the woods over here. And where did I put that last one? I can't remember. There's one there. There's one there. Oh, it's on the other side. Of, there's one over here on the other side of the uh, of ballot court. All right, so Larry has the first turn, unless I can seize. And uh, we'll go into the top of turn one. All right, Demon turn one. Everything took to the air. Uh, we've got Iron Arm on this Demon Prince. We've got uh, Endurance on this one. And he used the Grimoire on Fate Weaver this turn. Uh, and it worked. Uh, Bellacor and Fate Weaver tried to do some Puppet Mastery and Hallucinations over here. Uh, they Puppet Mastered the Contemptor to shoot at the Land Raider, but failed to penetrate it. And then they made the, uh, the Contemptor hallucinate as well. So he can't do anything next turn, in my turn. Uh, they also dominated the scouts in the tower. And over here, uh, this demon prince used his gift to knock off the storm bolter on the stalker. And that is it. So we're going to move into top of turn one. Bottom of turn one, my drop pod mishap off the table. I tried to park it back there to get some shots on that demon prince. Um, and it, it went off the table. So Larry put it way back here. So my stern guard dismounted and ran into the cover. The uh, Contemptor could not do anything, so he did not do anything. The Scouts took shots and completely whiffed. Uh, they shot at Fate Weaver, just because I have more shots over there. The Land Raider, though, turned, wheeled this way, and the Terminators disembarked. The Stalker 
took a wound off of that demon prince. Um, the land raider took another one off him with the assault cannons and grounded him. And then the terminators managed to actually get in a, uh, a charge. Uh, but the demon prince, because of his high initiative, struck first. He issued a challenge. I declined it with my chapter master, which is probably a bad idea. Um, because my Thunderhammer guys needed fives to hit. I only got one hit in return, and I rolled a one to wound. So the, the Demon Prince actually won the combat, but uh, I helped. I rolled a six on my leadership test, so we're still good. Um, otherwise, that's it for turn one. Turn two coming up. Demon turn two uh, was going... Eh, it was going pretty well for Larry, actually. Um, over here, Bellacore and uh, Fate Weaver, Puppet Master, the... Uh, um, the Contemptor and hallucinated him. He managed to strip two hull points off the, uh, the Land Raider with two uh, stunning hits. Uh, he himself took some shots from uh, Fate Weaver's uh, flame attack. Uh, and he, he penned him once and glanced him once. So he's down a hull point and uh, is immobilized. So he's stuck facing that way, which is not good. Um, both units of horrors came in. I did get one interceptor shot off because I was facing this way uh, because Larry had turned him to shoot the Land Raider. Uh, I managed to kill five of the horrors, though, with, with uh, my fragments, which is pretty good. However, the rest of the horrors over here, they all tried to do psychic attacks on the um, Thunderfire Cannon and the Stalker, as well as a, uh, a Life Leech from the Demon Prince over there, and those were my Deny the Witch Rolls. For all those. Epic, just three sixes in a row. It was great. Uh, in other news, though, not so good news for me. Uh, chapter Master Oscar fell to a Demon Prince because Larry enfeebled the squad of Terminators and I accepted a challenge and I failed all th three of my uh, Storm Shield saves, so he died. I'm going to move now to the um, bottom of turn two and see if my reserves can come in. Bottom of turn two, I get my Storm Talon and my Tactical Squad in the drop pot in. Uh, Storm Talon comes in and shoots at Fate Weaver. Takes off a single wound from him, but he makes all his grounded tests. Did have to use his reroll though. Uh, snipers shot at him, so did the stern guard, and nothing happened. Um, I shot two crack missile shots at this uh, demon prince, which I did ground from the, the stalker. He is okay, though. He took, took, a, he took a wound from the ground, and that was it. And nothing happened there. I, I, uh, I hit both times, but he made his invulnerable saves. Uh, I thought this was going to be the juiciest target in the world from a Thunderfire Cannon, but the first shot scattered between the squads. And then all my flops went like kitty cornered <laughs> to, the, to the, the actual squad. I managed to kill two more of the pink horrors in this unit, and that was it. Um, over here, though, the uh, the demon prince managed to kill a single terminator. I hit him once. Uh, Larry made his reroll on his uh, invulnerable save thanks to being a demon of siege. So we're gonna move into turn three and see if Larry's uh, cultists decide to walk on the board. Top of turn three was devastating for me. Um, Larry finally realized that uh, monster, flying monstrous creatures are monstrous creatures and decided to, to land some of his demon princes and assault my armor. That one blew up the land raider. That one blew up the stalker. Uh, the horrors just were ho terrible. They were horrible against my, uh, my tech marine. They actually, I, I killed one of them and then they rolled an 11 for their instability and lost five more. Uh, so that was really bad. Uh, Fate Weaver didn't do anything to the tech marine. Uh, he tried to uh, to, to cast some psychics on him and again whiffed badly. Bellacor came over here and assaulted the Contemptor, took him down. Uh, the Contemptor did manage to shoot some of my uh, my scouts with a um, uh, puppet master shot. And that's it. The uh, cultists are sitting right over there. They came in from reserve, so. T uh, bottom of turn three coming up. Bottom of turn three, I get some, uh, some pretty, uh, pretty good retribution here. Um, my scouts came on this edge. And along with the tactical squad over here, fired into that demon prince and finished him off, so he is dead. Over here, the storm talon went into hover mode, swung around, dropped two wounds off of Bellacor, and the stern guard here finished him off with some hellfire rounds. Sorry about the blurry camera. Like I said, I'm using my phone for this one. Um, I managed to snap fire and take off a, a wound and, uh, from a grounding on Fate Weaver, so Fate Weaver is down with two wounds left to go. And the Tech Priest, or Tech Marine, finished off those last two pink horrors in combat and consolidated behind his gun to give himself a little bit of protection. So now moving into turn four. Top of turn four, uh, Fate Weaver 
goes running away from my storm talon uh, up on top of the, the rock right here. Um, the Steven Prince charged into the tech priest. The tech marine killed him pretty easily. Uh, and over here, that demon prince jumped into the woods and tried to get into my tactile squad. I stood fast. I hit him a ton of times with overwatch fire. Failed to wound him or uh, he made his saves. And then he rolled really poorly for his assaulting through cover, including uh, you know, with the fleet bonus from uh, uh, warp speed. Uh, only managed to get three inches off him, so he's not going anywhere. And that's it. Those cultists are still just chilling back there. Bottom of turn four. Bottom of turn four. My scouts came back over here to support the marines. I shuffled around here a little bit just to get the flamer guy up front so I could hit uh, with him. Uh, managed to drop off two wounds off of that demon prince. I ignored Fate Weaver. This one took another two wounds from the stern guard and the snipers combined. Uh, he did make a pinning check from his sniper rifle though. Uh, and over there, the storm talon flew across, uh, killed four of the cultists, and they turned and ran off the board. We're going to go into top of turn five. Right. Top of turn five. This Demon Prince finally made it into combat with my Marines. Um, he did not issue a challenge, but my Sergeant issued one to him. Predictably, the Sergeant died, but the Marines stayed. I wanted them to fail and run back towards the objective so that uh, I could take another round of shooting at him. Um, but that would have taken some good rice rolling, too, because initiative eight Demon Princes are hard to run away from. Back over here. Same uh, same kind of result, results. I did get two sniper round hits in Overwatch, but he made both his, uh, his saves. And Fate Weaver flew across the board, and using his uh, Zinch Flame attack, knocked my Storm Raven, or Storm Talon, excuse me, out of the sky with uh, two glancing hits that I failed to do to Jake. And that, oh, the pink horse are kind of running their way around, hoping that the game lasts a little bit longer so they can get closer to that objective. So we're gonna move into the bottom of turn five. All right, thanks to the Space Marines and they shall know no fear rule, I'm still okay at the moment. Um, I lost six Marines in this combat, but uh, I held, thanks to and they shall know no fear. Over here, I took some shots at uh, Fate Weaver with the Stern Guard, hit him. Uh, he, made his, he failed his first ground test, then used his reroll to, to pass it. Uh, and this Demon Prince only killed three scouts, and I failed, uh, again, uh, failed my leadership test, but and they shall know no fear keeps me from getting uh, swept, so we're still stuck in combat here. And the Stern Guard are there. Um, not like they can do a whole lot where they're standing. Uh, but the biggest news, my scouts managed to get close enough to grab the objective, so I am currently holding one objective. Uh, but I roll a three to see if the game goes on. So the game will go on, and we'll see if Fate Weaver can get over there and uh, make life miserable for those scouts. All right, with turns coming fast and furious now, we're just going to do all turn six at once. Uh, this Demon Prince finally managed to finish off all the Marines here, but it took to the bottom of turn six to do it. Well, my Heavy Bolter Marine was still alive. These scouts are still hold were holding the objective until Fate Weaver came screaming in here. I uh, forego, he, he forewent all his shooting, and uh, just did the extra run move when he was swooping to contest the objective. So I am no longer holding that. This Demon Prince took again till uh, uh, actually finished off at the top of turn six. My scouts and then my uh, Stern Guard only took, managed to take one wound off him, even, even though they hit uh, and wounded eight times with their uh, Hellfire rounds. Uh, down here, that Lone Horror was alive because I missed him with the other Storm Bolter shot from my uh, uh, drop pod. So that's it. As, as it stands right now, I have a single point for Linebreaker. I'm sorry, Linebreaker over here. I have a single point for Linebreaker, but Larry has Linebreaker. He also has Slay the Warlord and First Blood, so we're going to roll... Go ahead, Larry, see if the game goes on into turn seven. And it does. We're going to go on, and he's going to try to wipe me off the table. All right, I needed that game to end in turn five, and it went on to turn seven, giving Larry a very decisive victory. That pink horror who was just chilling here, ran around here, did try to kill him with my uh, drop pod, but he's behind the ruins, so he got the cover bonus from my enhancing that ruin with the tech marine. So he went to ground for a two-up save, and he's all right. Uh, that Demon Prince, it took two turns. It took the top and bottom of turn seven for him to finish off the Stern Guard. Uh, but he has a single wound left. This Demon Prince, along with uh, Fate Weaver, tag team the scouts. Uh, Fate Weaver actually tried to cast the Flickering Flames as Zinch again. I have to say, Deny the Witch was my friend this game. I, I denied the Witch a grand total of eight times in this entire game. Now, it sounds like a lot, but there were an awful lot of psychic powers being thrown at my guys. Um... That being said, though, the Demon Prince uh, charged in there. Uh, I issued a challenge with my sergeant, and uh, the sergeant was killed, and then the, the Demon Prince with his warp speed 
ripped, uh, ripped the other four guys apart in their turn. Final result, though, Larry has one objective for three points, plus he has Line Breaker and Slay the Warlord in First Blood for a grand total of six, and I have nothing. Some, some good lessons. I think Larry learned some good lessons this game, uh, especially not forgetting uh, to roll on the Warp Storm table, uh, remembering that Demons of Zinch get to reroll ones on their saves, uh, and Fate Weaver's single reroll every turn is just nuts. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, it's getting late. I gotta drive home in a snowstorm and uh, face an unhappy wife and kids. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.